SAP Business One lets you define special prices for your customers and vendors in addition to the standard price lists. You can define these special prices for specific business partners or by discount groups according to item groups, properties, manufacturers, or items. In addition, you can set different special prices for each unit of measure of the item. When you process a sale or purchasing document, SAP Business One checks the following elements to determine the item prices in the document. Is there a linked blanket agreement for the business partner? Are there special prices defined for the business partner? Are there period and volume discounts defined for the price list that is linked to the business partner? Are there discount groups linked to the business partner? Which price list is linked to the business partner? Does the business partner belong to a discount group? Item prices are usually defined in various price lists. The price list that is relevant for determining the prices for a particular business partner is specified in the master data record of that business partner. A general discount can also be specified for the business partner in the master data record. This discount is applied to the total of the item prices in the document. Let's get started. We can see the linked business partner price list by navigating to business partner, business partner master data, looking up your business partner and clicking on payment terms. Currently for microchips, we have the distributor sales price. We also have a total discount percentage that could be applied. At this time, we have 0% discount for all documents. It is often necessary to define special prices for individual cases. For example, you may require special prices for an item or an item from an item group for a particular customer or vendor. You may also want to specify special prices or scale discounts for a particular customer that will be selected automatically by the system on the basis of the quantity ordered. For this, we will close the current business partner master data and we will navigate to Inventory, Price Lists, and we'll click Special Prices, and specifically Special Prices for Business Partners. In the Special Prices for Business Partners window, you will see BP Code, where you will select the business partner for which you want to maintain special prices. BP Name will display the name of the business partner for which you want to maintain special prices. BP Type it will display the type of partner for which you want to maintain special prices for. On the price list, choose the price list to be used as basis for calculating the special prices. To choose this price list, click the drop-down icon on the right of the field. Choose an entry from the drop-down list by selecting it. You can also choose without price list. In this case, the special prices are not calculated on the basis of a price list. Instead, you enter the prices manually. The price list selected here is defaulted in all the rows of the table below for the defining the special prices. You can choose a different entry for each row. Under discount percentage, enter the discount you want to apply to all or most of the special prices. The system defaults this in all rows for the table. You can then change the percentage as required. In our example, we have microchips. By default, the distributor sales price as seen on the business partner master data record comes through. We're also giving him 5% discount. We are able to add items individually, or if you click the add items button, you are able to select a range of codes, a range of vendors, an item group, or use the properties as further selection criteria. In our case, we're going to include all items within the item group PC. By clicking OK, those items come into the window. As you can see, for items P10,001 to P10,003, we are using the distributor sales price as seen above. We would be able to change if needed on the individual rows. Here we have the current price of the item and with the discount, the price after discount is what is going to apply. Note that the auto field is selected. If it is selected, the special price is also changed when the price in the price list is updated. In this example, if the distributor sales price is increased by 
The special price seen here is also recalculated on the basis of the increased price list price and the discount for the special price. The system sets the indicator automatically when you define a special price. You can delete the indicator by unchecking it. The special prices is then not affected in the scenario previously described. Next, select the active checkbox to activate the special prices defined for the business partner. If required, define a validity period for the defined special prices. In our case, we have from December 1st, 2020 to March 1st, 2021. As previously seen in our video, period and volume discounts, you are able to include that information through this window. Each row, you'll be able to select both options. By double-clicking the row number one, we are able to see a validity date from December 1st, 2020, and if you like, you're able to include a different time period. Only for the month of December, we're going to provide a 7% discount instead of a 5% discount. The other option is to also double-click the period row number one, and you're able to provide information on volume discounts. As an example, if they purchase 50 or more, a total of 13% discount for the period. If they buy 100 or more, they'll be giving a 20% discount, as seen by the special price for each unit. By clicking Update and Update, and clicking Update again, we have saved the information for microchips. As a reminder, for a special price to apply to an item in a document, the date must be within the validity period and the unit of measure in the row must match the unit of measure in the definition of the special price. SAP Business One provides a feature of special prices that once set up, you can copy that special price to other business partner. By selecting Copy Discounts, you'll be provided with the Copy Discounts window. Here, you're able to provide a range code for business partners, select by custom groups, or vendor groups. You're also provided a selection criteria by business partner properties. In our example, we're going to copy the special prices to our customer group distributors. By clicking OK and clicking Update, the system message provides us with the selection criteria to replace all prices. The system copies all the special prices of the customer for the selected business partners irrespective of the special prices that may have been defined for the other business partner, special prices are therefore added and, if necessary, overwritten. Replace prices of overlapping items only. The system changes the special prices of all the items that exist for both the source business partner and the target business partner of this copy process. Do not replace item prices. The system adds all the special prices of the items that do not exist for the target business partner of the copy process. No changes are made to the special prices of the items that exist for both the source business partner and the target business partner. Once you have made your selection, click OK. We will navigate back to our business partner by clicking Business Partners, Business Partner Master Data. We will find microchips. In the Business Partner Master Data information, you are able to right-click and select Special Prices for Business Partners. You will be able to see the newly created special price or microchips straight from the Business Partner Master Data window. You'll be able to see the information not only for the original business partner, in our case microchips, but also the other business partners to which we copied the information to. In our example, we had ADA as another distributor if we were to right-click and select Special Prices for Business Partner, we will also see that the copied information from Microchips also were included into ADA Technologies Special Prices. Now, let's verify our sales order document. We'll navigate to Sales AR, Sales Order. By selecting the customer Microchips for our example, we'll bring in the three items that we included in their Special Prices. Therefore, by selecting P10001, 2, and 3. Here we see the unit price and discount information in blue. That is because it's coming from a special source, the special prices for business partner price source. 
If you remember, item number one has a period and also volume discount. The period information is for the month of December. Once the item is included on the sales order for the month, it will receive a 7% discount. Also volume counts in this example. If we were to change from one unit to 50 units, the discount changes from 7% to 13%. If we were to change from 50 units to 100 units, we would see that automatically it changes from 13% to 20%. Having that corrected to just one unit in this example, we can also review the same information by selecting the unit price, right-clicking, and opening the price report. In the price report, we are able to see that it's highlighted special prices for business partner for microchips at 7% discount, valid from December 1st until December 31st. Once that finishes, it goes back to our 5%, and if it's volume discounted, we have the 50 units and the 100 units information as well. We're going to go ahead and save this document. We will also need to enter the delivery date. Next, click Add to save the sales order. The document has been saved and we'll bring it back just for review. In this example, we were able to show the special prices for business partner for microchips, including period and volume discounts. Special prices for business partners is one of many tools that SAP Business One has to offer to automate and make your sales process simpler and easier. Join us as we help you learn more about SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.